What's up guys? Supermoto day. I'm on my 690R KDM. We are on the racetrack and we're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna teach you some epic skills and I brought with me backup. Marco, hit the throttle. That was a nice stop, man. Boom! Hi, I'm Marco, your original supermoto expert. You might remember me from our record setting vlog from sliding a Duke 390, and now I'm back to show you some tricks. Really? For sure. You're we're gonna go break the internet also? Yeah, we're gonna break the internet and break our bikes, maybe. Uh, I like the first idea, <laughs> not the second one. <laughs> so today, guys, we're gonna teach you five skills that we pros are using. And with those skills, you're gonna improve your riding. And we have a special giveaway, Cardo Freecom Plus for you. Be sure to stay with us and see how you can get it. Can I get it also? Maybe if you slide good enough. Oh man, <laughs> now you got me. Okay, let's go. There's nothing like popping a wheelie at the end of the race, huh? True, and since I'm the expert here, I'm going to show you how you do it. To do a perfect wheelie, you need to do five things simultaneously. First, throttle, steady throttle, don't pump it really steady, clutch it out, covering the foot brake in case something goes wrong, you can return back, body position, not on the front, but lay back, transform your weight to the back so the bike will go easier on the rear wheel, and then everything do it with slow approaching and in the first gear and then clutch it up and you are doing a wheel. <music> You see? Did you feel the difference? Yeah, it's much less uh, sketchy, more control, better. Thanks. Yeah, I saw it was way smoother than before. So I'm happy I could teach I could teach a pro a bit of uh, wheelie skills, man. Uh, you you have already the skills really high, but there is always room for improvement. I would suggest let's have some wheelie fun together. Yeah, let's go do it. Let's do it, man. Boom. The next exercise that we're gonna learn now is something that also helped me a lot in the recent years on my tight corner riding. We're gonna call it the tight corner grip limit. Four things are important. First one, location. Clean, no dust, no gravel, no stones, because you can crash because of that. So search for a clean spot. If it's possible, without the parking lot, uh, marks like the white uh, stripes because they are also slippery and then you are ready to ride how to do it 
right foot close to the bike, hold yourself on the bike, the foot, the ball of the foot on the foot pack. So now we are locked on the bike. The inner foot is for controlling the grip. If you lose the front, you can save it from the crash. Be careful with your inner foot. Keep it in the direction you move. Don't move it outside. Otherwise you're gonna twist your ankle or your knee and you don't want that. Next important thing, body position. Don't lean like Valentino Rossi into the corner, but we're gonna do here opposite thing. Move the bike away from you, elbows up, ass on the outer edge of the seat. And that's how is the body position. Last thing, throttle control. Don't pump it, keep it steady and the bike will stay stable. I have my spot, so my ass on the outer edge of the seat, outer foot close to the bike, inner foot like that, and push the bike away from you, trying to reach your limit. And sometimes you will feel how the front tire wants to slip away, but don't be scared, just control, keep the throttle steady, you always feel the limit of your tires. I saw that you were scraping the foot back, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's on the limit. Good job, man. Yeah, Boom. Man. This exercise is good for tight corners on a racetrack and also in the city on the roundabouts and stuff like that. Or if the girlfriend says she's alone at home, then you need to be really fast at her place, right? <laughs> for sure. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. I <laughs> say <laughs> 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 One zero for me. <laughs> There's a reason why your supermoto bike has such long suspension. That's because you can also ride it off-road and you can also jump it. So I'm gonna use this ramp and hopefully I don't break it. Hey, wait, what do you mean? Just don't break my bike, please. No promises. Three things are important for jumping. One is body position. You have to stay neutral, central on the bike when going to a ramp. Do not go seated because it can kick you forward. The second one is throttle. Like all the other exercises, you need to be constant on the throttle. That means no fast acceleration, no fast closing of the gas, just constant. The third one is before you land, you need to accelerate because then the force goes forward and you land much more softly. You can use these skills on any kind of bike, on enduro bike, motocross bike, adventure bike, maybe don't do it on a sport bike. Uh, how's the bike holding up, Rock? It's in one piece, man. When I saw you were flying like a freaking superman, I thought my bike gonna explode from the landing, but luckily it's in one piece. Good job KTM, this bike is strong. Uh, Marco, what do you think, should I do it also? Sure, go for it. Okay. And now for the funnest skill in supermoto. Sliding or backing it into the corner. Uh, we do this because you can go much harder in a corner and most of all because it looks very cool and it's so much fun. 
For sliding, you need to have four tips in mind. You need front brake, a lot of front brake, so you enter hard into the corner and make the rear end light. You need the gear shift, shift one or two gears, two is the best, uh, so you get that engine braking for the sliding. You have the clutch. If you don't have a slipper clutch like this bike has, then you need to release the clutch halfway. And then you have the rear brake, which you use to control how much angle you have on your slide. If you want to know more about this skill, we made a whole video about it and you can see the link in the description. Boom! Giveaway time! Unfortunately we can't have it, but Freecom 4 Plus can be yours. What you need to do is, first thing, drop in the comments below what skills you would like to learn in the future. Uh, now you learned five, what's the next five? Second thing, share the photo that we just posted on our YouTube community page and follow Cardo Systems YouTube channel. That's how you can win it, so good luck guys! And now, let's go to the last exercise. Mm -hmm. Let's get dirty. Let's get dirty. Let's get dirty. So the next riding skill comes with a question. What do you do when the paved road ends and the gravel starts? Then the bike starts to move around and you lose grip, right? So it's very important to have the correct technique so you stay safe on the loose stuff. And can I use that skill only on the super motorbike or some other bikes? No, the same stuff applies if you have enduro bike, if you have adventure bike, you can use it for everything. Cool, so show us how it's done. The technique is very similar to the tight corner technique that we used before. Basically, you have your foot on the ball of your foot on the foot peg, squeeze tight with your knees and with your inner thighs, elbows up, and you lean the bike down into the corner and not the body. It has two key differences though. When you lose the grip, you go from the bike leaned and then you pick up the bike and you search for the grip with this movement. The, set the second thing is, when you apply the throttle and the bike starts to go sideways, you can never close the throttle because the bike will get grip instantly and can throw you over the bars. It's getting dark, so we need to be creative. We don't see Marco and how he's doing the slides. So we're gonna use my headlight and illuminate his moves. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, we are done. Is your uh, hands uh, hurt? A little bit, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this Come is on, guys. Yeah, okay. Let's finish up, man. This is it, guys. I hope you like our five tricks and the last, the dirty one. And Marco, thanks for joining again. For sure. You were a great help, and I learned actually a lot today from you. 
So today we had also a little advice on my helmet beside the camera and that's the Cardo Intercom, the Packtalk Bolt and the Freecom 4 Plus. And these advices I use usually on my adventure bike, on my weekend rides, uh, so I can talk to Meribi. But this time I wasn't talking to my girlfriend but to Marco, so we help each other to learn the skills how to do properly. And wait, but you were, actually you were telling me it's never you never used that before. How was it actually for you? Yeah, I never used it before, but for sure it's a great tool that makes teaching so much easier. And thanks to... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so thank you Cardo team for hooking us up with the systems and make our job way easier. So that's it guys, we are on the end of the vlog. Good luck on the giveaway. See you next time. Until then, rock, rock on! on.